infrastructure, the sessions for the virtual and augmented learning. We are one also very very interesting. And one more uh, point I would like to thank you for the MPC faculty member. Uh, this was a program which was less of uh, classrooms and more of fit uh, based learnings. So for uh, adult learning, uh, sitting in classroom patterns for long hours. I mean, you lose the interest. So it's a perfect blend of like physical uh, and then the, the classroom academic type of things. The faculties, uh, they have been wonderful. They are basically the practitioners uh, and uh, I'd like to congratulate also the NAU for uh, doing wonderful works, uh, bringing uh, innovations and uh, uh, the latest technologies for the benefit of the farmers. Uh, thank you very much. Program uh, should continue a little bit, etc. They always <coughs> and but overall the theme is wonderful and uh, it's a perfect blend of the things. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I am basically an early engineer. I'm with my engineering also. And uh, many uh, uh, programs here have been but then agriculture are hard for uh, uh, like innovative uh, things. Uh, it has been an eye-opener uh, for me uh, coming and attending training program here. Definitely DNA is far ahead uh, than many of the institutions in the country uh, implementing all these things. I always wonder uh, faculty members here, uh, even by having the teaching responsibilities, you are finding time to reach out to the farmers and give all these uh, advisories and benefits to them. And first of all, uh, kudos to you people for doing your wonderful work. Keep on doing your wonderful work. And uh, regarding some of the suggestions no, which I would like to place. One is uh, uh, we have got several funds for assisting staff, staff heads, okay. uh, Now, we were just discussing that uh, rain for data or some 5,000 rupees per <coughs> 500 rupees per year uh, per data, this is different data, and you are providing some data. So if some artificial intelligence technologies can be used for prediction of uh, crop yield or uh, prices and all those things, the competitive prices, based on uh, this, startups can take data from you. And uh, we have a lot of funding also. So if some of the ideas are there like that, uh, we can discuss Navar and the DNA discuss and then take those things forward because uh, as professors, you know, our time is limited that we do research and all. Let private people also do the research, maybe FTOs, maybe startups, so that uh, you know, all sorts of uh, uh, you know, main research uh, will lead to some research and that benefit can be given to the uh, farmers. Thank you. Uh, my colleagues from the various departments. Myself, Maradas Sabankar, I am Deputy General Manager from Madhya Pradesh Regional Office. I am not talking about the background from agriculture engineering. But I have an electrical engineering background. But there are some of the instances which come to my mind that a uh, lot of research has gone into the technology parts, per se, if you see health sector. That has been transformed uh, into various research industries. Uh, ANU, I first congratulate you for completing 150 years in the service of nation. Some of the leading pioneering works have been happening over there, and we'll be continuing to it, continuing to do it. Uh, but one thing, what really one of the lectures it was told to me that extension services were mostly, mostly focused on production, <coughs> production side, not on the market side or the quality aspects or the value side of it. So uh, we can see a lot of transformation happening. We are implementing one project in the farm sector development department, which is IoT based, weather based forecasting measures and everything. So that is in a 4 kilometer radius, we are implementing it 4 or 5 stations. But what about the data? I don't think those farmers are so uh, learned or educated that they will be able to do it. Unless the extension services have a direct connect with them on a 24-7 basis, they will not be able to do justice to the data what they are getting. Okay, that's what my personal thing. And uh, really uh, uh, moving around in such a prestigious university has been really a blessing for us because we learned and got exposed to so many things 
final verses and thanks to all the professors who had taken even the smallest of our queries with the great intricacy they explained to us. We are lowest in this field, but they are trying to do their best.
committed to give quality education to the students. At the same time, we are concentrating on quality research. So that is a success of PNU. And we are we are all the three uh, mandatory activities of PNU: teaching, research, and extension. And what are the new things are coming up? We are the one to grab everything first. So in the teaching side, actually we have uh, introduced lot of newer things for the students. By joining hands with the SCR, now we have implemented that uh, institutional development plan and the uh, National Agricultural Higher Education Plan. So in this program, actually we have sent nearly 64 undergraduate students to the foreign university for a period of two months under an internship program. The, this is a thing really helpful for the undergraduate students to move forward. This first time we are doing like this. 64 students have gone to foreign universities, nearly Canada, uh, Australia, UK, Malaysia, Taiwan, Singapore. Those countries they have visited. So apart from that, uh, what is the internship program? Now we have introduced another one program called Twinning program. That is stay one semester, we have full one semester in abroad university by simply giving the credit to the foreign university. In that manner, we have sent nearly 70 students so far to three countries like Finland, Canada, Netherlands. So these are all undergraduate students. Previously we used to send only the masters or even the staff to the foreign countries. The first time we are sending undergraduate students to abroad for learning new things. So apart from that, we are concentrating on the skill development program because we want the students industry ready when they come out of the institute. So for that, previously we used to give skill development program for the usual things like beekeeping, mushroom growing, biofertilizer production like that. But nowadays we are now changing the entire thing. Now we are giving training to the drone pilot because the Director General of Civil Aviation gave the permission, license to TNA. So with that, now we have trained nearly 64 undergraduate students, 5 undergraduate students, and they have got pilot license for, uh, for operating drones. Apart from that, we are giving what is that artificial intelligence, big data analysis digital marketing, all these things we are giving skill development training to the undergraduate students. So in the research side, so far we have released nearly 905 varieties, more than 500 technologies, 100 plus missionaries, and because we are the only university in the state, and we are the one uh, actually delivering all the things for the stakeholders of the state. In research also, we are the pioneers in many areas, like remote sensing and Geographical Information System, Nanotechnology, we have a separate center for advanced center for nanotechnology and weather modeling. All those things we are the pioneer, film and internet of things, and came in a standardized protocol for almost seven major crops for road spraying, input uh, spraying. Apart from input uh, spraying, we are now concentrating on the pesticides as well as crop boosters. And we have standardized uh, protocols for the seven major crops, different diseases in the field, as well as the moisture condition in the field. KMU is also uh, entering into the satellite based uh, technology, uh, played a major role in the cyclone uh, affected areas. We actually, our people went there for survey, as well as based on our report only, our Tamil Nadu government uh, gave the farmers the subsidy, the, what do you call the crop insurance to the farmers. So these are all some of the um, flagship programs of our university. And coming to the NABAR, actually we have been in uh, collaboration with the NABAR for a very long time. With the help of NABAR only, we have created this type of uh, infrastructure. Recently, we have got nearly 62 crores for the construction of Agriculture College Research Institute in Chetnada, near Madurai. And we have also given nearly 395 crores uh, proposal for consulting another three new colleges, new Abrija colleges, the proposal is with uh, NABAR. Under this RADF uh, funding, 
We have constructed a lot of buildings throughout our uh, campuses, thanks to NABAD and the uh, people who are working here. And with the help of NABAD, we have recently organized a farmer's mela in Madurai. NABAD has given nearly 20 lakhs rupees for that uh, program. With that program, nearly 30,000 farmers and 5,000 5, students were benefited out of that uh, program. I really thankful uh, to NABAD for this uh, generous funding from KDU. And I look forward to have more and more collaborations with NABAR. Surely, your funding will be just viable and effectively used by KNU. I will give you that assurance. And this particular training will be uh, was much useful, I think, because people uh, gave the feedback in a very nice manner. If at all any flaw in the training program, we will correct it in our future programs. And with this, I hope you have a very nice stay in Bangalore and KNU. And hope to see you again in KNU. Wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chintka, Deputy General Manager, Aishwa.
Dropa's father. I would like to place on record a sincere thanks to the Honorable Vice Chancellor, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, for permitting and guiding us in organizing this three day training program. A sincere thanks to an eminent scientist and appreciator, cool and warm personality for Prof. Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, for his support, guidance, and his presence uh, in this very key function and offering his uh, valuable remarks. I wholeheartedly thank National Bank of College Lucknow 